subscribe and share. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fuse and Help and today we are doing another Android tutorial and today we are getting into how to add comments to your Android application both in XML and Java and that way you can find problems so say for example if you list a given problem then you can put in the comments saying where the problem is also if you do anything like on github or any other sharing platform or work for a company you might want to add comments there to so other people know what's going on and um and then there's many other cases I, i've even used comments to i don't want to use this given code here but i don't want to get rid of it because i might end up using it in the future for whatever reason so what i'll do is make it into a comment and that disactivates the code but it keeps it there where i can reactivate it by getting rid of the comment altogether so let's jump into a quick personal advertisement and then jump into the actual tutorial thanks for sticking around during the ads please feel free to click on the icons shown to be taken to areas where you can help us all links will be below for mobile and other users welcome back so as far as comments goes, let's start with XML. It's, it's totally different between XML and Java as far as how to make comments, unfortunately. But to do it in XML, let's uh, start an entire new line. And then what it is is uh, this thing and then a uh, explanation mark and two of those. And to close it out, you just do uh, two minus signs and that thing and uh, that should have closed it out oh, sorry about that there you go and um, and that's pretty much how to make the comment now you can write whatever you want here and this won't affect the code at all this is just back in the user won't see this the user won't be affected by this at all this is just purely for the developer and only for a developer or anyone who's viewing the code itself. So I, I can put in here, um, let's see, or right below this one to make the image into image into a banner. And on some of these, I try to put something weird on there. As you see here, there is spelling on some of these workstations. Not all workstations have that by the way. Now let's say that I want to take the uh, this image out but I don't want to get rid of it because I think I might use it in the future. What I'll do is just do another comment setup and um, then let's init afterwards. And as you see here we got rid of the image and uh, we didn't affect the code as far as a negative way it's it's green or we can still use the code it's just that this is now what's called a comment and if we want to make the the code appear to be useful on the uh, user side we can just get rid of that and there you go so that's pretty simple now you can depend on the workstation you can change the colors of these i probably will and um, I like to have it green if all possible and let's get rid of that so as far as Java how do you do that let's go into this one and for this one what we want to do is start a comment and this is a comment by the way so what we do is do a um, slash two stars it did it in it I have to just press enter on some of the workstation that ends it for you. If it doesn't, then just do another star and slash and that ends the comment. So in here we can type out whatever we want and again it won't affect it. If we do the same thing that we did before with the code, it um it actually gets rid of that as far as the code without actually taking it out. So you see there. So 
So it's very, very useful in many cases, and, um, and it's worthwhile taking a look at. But anyways, that's how to make a comment and, um, and how to do it. I will have this application up on GitHub. I'll have a link to it, a card and everything. So you can go to it and you can grab the code as needed, modify it, play with it, do whatever you want. And, and all the images and stuff will be there. But anyways, it's been Craig Bent, found on Tech Beast and Up, and hopefully this has helped you out fast. And please leave a like, subscribe, share. And if you want to add any more information or any questions below, put it in the comment section or email me at techfeedsnope.com. And if you don't like this, then go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why I suck fixing in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Tech Beast and Up, and hope you have a great day.